Let me tell you today about uh, how to use SSH add. Often people will tell you to create um, uh, keys without passwords. This is entirely wrong. You should not do that. And if you do that, that is probably something that is uh, used for system management. But if you're a normal user, you must be putting a password. On. But uh, sometimes you argue, well, I don't want to type always my password in. For that, we have actually SSH. So let me tell you how to use it. Probably have already uploaded an SSH key to your portal. Make sure this SSH key is password protected. If you're not protecting your SSH key, that is very dangerous and you should remove that key and create a new key. We assume that you have your key in the typical location, so let's okay. just take a look at this. Um, we go in into the users um, ssh.ssh directory and in there you find an idrsa.pub. If you don't know uh, how to create this, please look at the previous tutorial that we gave you. One of the things with the password is that you sometimes uh, don't want to repeatedly use this password in the same session. For that you can use uh, SSH agent to simplify the uh, use of it. We simply say eval on the command the backslash SSH dash agent. This will start an agent that uh, will cache your key when you are adding it to the agent. The next command is ssh add and we add our key which is in our environment just the key that we just pointed out the public key from id rsa which is our default key and i'm typing in my password now that i used for it and i probably punched in the wrong one And uh, now I verified that this was my password and it's being added to my um, uh, to my agent. Now the nice thing with this one is, is, is I can now log in into a remote host, such as for example India, and um, can easily access that particular machine. So let's do this. On India, my username is Albert. And there you have it. We are on India without typing our password in. When I disconnect and try to connect again, I do not have to type my password in. This is what I would recommend for you to do when you are working uh, frequently with SSH and trying to log in into remote machines.